Greetings, my name is Uncle Martin Carol Harita and this PowerPoint presentation is based on the marine fish stock in South Africa. The next slide is based on the history of the, South Af uh, the Southern Africa fisheries. So, the South African, the South African fisheries are environmentally bifurcated by the different current regions on the West Bengula and the East Agulhas coast. Limited pre-colonial subsistence use of the littoral zone was supplemented from the mid 17th century by commercial harvesting of the marine mammals for international trade and fish operation imported slave labor. If we fast forward to our generation, we tend to facing a major depletion in marine fishes across the globe. This is a major problem because it is also affecting our food security in all continents and we had to act as soon as possible. The ecosystem approach to fisheries is becoming the main reference framework of managing fisheries and implementing the principles of sustain sustainable development. On this slide, they, these are the tracking tools to evaluate fisheries and the first one is economics. Economics. The economics well-being of the fish industry is maintained and we go to, oh my word. The economics well-being of the fish, of fishing industry is maintained. The social well-being of dependent fishing communities is accounted for in accounted for in the uh, management advice with good scientific data the collection procedures existed to support the eaf implementation the external impacts of the fishery are addressed for example the climate change the climate change of other in uh yeah, climate change and other. In this slide, we see the problems that initiated the the fish depletion. The first one would be the increase in global population. When a population of a species in a certain environment is greater than resources, the resources tend to deplete. It applies in all resources. It was later found that as the Human population is constantly increasing across the globe. Soon food won't be enough to feed the entire globe. But there was a huge neglect when it came to fishery into to fishes. Overfishing became a problem to both developing and developed countries. Global warming is also another situation when it comes to the increase of temperature, which also affected the ocean. And as we all know, that the ocean is uh, the ocean is the habitat of the fishes, and when their habitat is already interrupted, less fishes will be available in the ocean. In failure of information about the marine organisms, fishermen did not know the size of the available fish stocks in the ocean. In a way, it led to overfishing. And lastly, lack of property rights. Fishing is well known as a public good, which are the benefits of the well-being of the goods. They are one of the free goods that one cannot own by no private companies. A lack of property rights over the sea, as ownership is difficult, if not impossible, for individuals to establish. The pie chart is based on the, stat, uh, the status of the global fish stock in 2008 that I found in one of the e AF database during the research. By the look of things, the amount of fish, fish to stock is greater than the percentage of the recovery of the fishes of the fish stock. That this is a legitimate problem of the of fish depletion. As we can see, the overfish percentage is twenty eight, coming to 
moderately exploited percentage, which is 12%. The depleted percentage is 3%. And the fully fished fishies is by 53%. The under-exploited is by 3%, and lastly, the recovery from depletion was by 1%. South Africa came up with a commercial line fish to maintain the fishery and the fishery trading to run smoothly, in a way. These are the recreational fishing, and two methods are implemented. The total allowable catch is the tool used to establish maximum fishing limited during a certain time frame and for each one of the species controlled by management plans. The allowable effort, which is the TAC, controls measure the control measure the specific the specific maximum level of fishing effort that can be applied to a fish stock during a specific period agreed to by fish by fishery managers to achieve certain objectives the points are the organizations that are part of publishing or causing the long term to be implemented throughout the 1960s and the early 70s intensive for eh? intense foreign fishing activities in South in South African waters resulted in the over exploitation of several species. Relief from international fishing pressure was achieved throughout the implementation of an exclusive exclusive economic zone in 1977. However, an impacted to reshape to reshape South Africa's fishing communities, the development of the agriculture, forestry, and the fisheries, as is issued right in the attempt to South Africanize our fisheries. The rights of the foreign fishing vessels in South, in South African were revoked in 2002. The allocation of long-term rights not only encourages community involvement in fisheries and their management. Long-term rights have been issued in 22 fishing sectors with over 2,900 rights holders and 1,788 vessels. The pie chart on the right illustrates the status of some commercially important marine, spe marine species exploited in South Africa. Links between food security and fisheries. We have food access. With food access, we have sufficient resources to obtain food for a nutritious diet. With food ability, sufficient quantities of food are available on consistent basis. And with food use, appropriate use based on the knowledge to basic nutrition and care, as well as adequate water and, and sanitation. The solutions to fish depletion can work, can all work if they are applied all at the same time and worldwide. And having to educate all fishermen which they can pass it all can pass it to all individuals and urge them to do the same to stop overfishing or limit the amount of overfishing if we work together we can make a difference i hope you enjoyed the presentation and thank you very much